it's been such a brilliant season here at the Curra. So, so many highlights. Fantastic uh, performances by horses and jockeys as well. Jamie Powell is obviously one that springs to mind. It's a real uh, season of coming for Jamie Powell. He had such a great record here this year. On the track, Kiprius, he was so impressive winning the Coma Group St. Ledger on Champions Weekend. As De Hera was, she looks a really exciting filly uh, for Dermot Weld and Chris Hayes and his highness the Aga Khan. She was brilliant. And w- unbelievable performance when she won of course the group on My Glare Stud Stakes and Homeless Songs from My Glare Stud winning the Irish 1000 guineas so early on in the season that was a scintillating performance as well This season at the Curra was definitely Shartash winning the railway stakes um, great to ride a, a big winner on a two year old in those famous colours well, it's been another wonderful year here at the Curra with some great results. For me, though, the most heartwarming and exciting is the emergence of rider Jamie Powell as a leading apprentice. He had a treble here to Curra. He's had doubles. It's been a real breakout year for a local guy from Kildare Town uh, to get so many good winners at the Curra. I think he's got a big career ahead of him and he's had a fantastic 2022 season here. Uh, the highlight for me of the 2022 Curra season was uh, Massim and a horse which I owned and trained, uh, winning on the first day of the season. He gave, he gave me and my family a great day and um, it set, set the tone nicely for the season. Nine, the man towards the match! Magical the goal is fired! And St. Pauli's the Curra crowd! My highlight of the Curra this year for 2022 has to be a Magical Lagoon winning the Irish Oaks. It was a great day for everyone involved. As Aratori winning here was very special for us. Um, we think a lot of her, she won a maiden. Um, but I got one of the biggest kicks of my career so far when Midnight Fire won um, for Elite Owners Ireland. He was their first winner in Ireland. There was a huge crowd of owners here on the day and the nearly lifted the stand, uh, the roof off the stand when he passed the line in front. Here's Al Britton on the outside coming to take the ball at the cup. National Stakes, it's Al Ritter. Yeah, my highlight of the year was uh, definitely Al Ritter in the National Stakes. Um, he's a horse who, he got beat first time out, showed a lot of promise, then he won his maiden here. Uh, and then came on soft ground and he won. Uh, I thought he was very impressive that day. He's a lovely big horse that um, we look forward to him as a three-year-old next year and he could be very exciting. Yeah, my highlight of the Curra this year well, was uh, finishing 1-2-3 in the Premier Handicap on Champions Weekend. It was a great weekend for us. Um, we had lots of runners. Nothing had, had won up until the last race, but the highlight for me was 1-2-3 uh, in the Premier Handicap at the Curra. Hi, I'm Tom, and it's been a brilliant season here at the Curra, but undoubtedly my highlight was the ride by Wayne Lorden on Waterville and the Friends of the Curra, Iris Cesarowicz. An incredible ride. He was back nearly two furlongs off the pace, then picked his way throughout the entire field and just nabbed Rachel Blackmore on the line with Waterville to win the Friends of the Curra, Iris Cesarowicz. I thought it was one of the rides of the season and definitely one of my moments of the season.